and welcome back. We're Hello. within a month, I think, of our last Hello. video. Yeah, number 16. Today's Friday, June 5th. And let's get to it. All right. um, I'm going to let Melissa start because <laughs> I had fun during usual. <laughs> hey, um, it's, it's mania. I can do what I want. That's right. Uh, yeah, cool. Well, I had, um, so I kind of did the whole, I didn't do stitch sania, um, like Landy stitches had it, but, um, I did sort of do it, I guess, cause I did, I did, um, a new start for each weekend. And then during the week I worked on, uh, mirabilia. So I kind of had a mirabilia mania as well. So that's, what's been going on with me. Um, so my light is going, so hopefully this all works out. Okay. But, um, I started with uh, Nora Corbett Electra. It's on a 32 count Demeter's Harvest by the defunct Die Stitch Love. And I got all the black done as of yesterday. So she's looking good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm at a good stopping point for right now and then I'll come back to her soon. She's stitching up fast, so. Yeah. She's pretty, pretty quick. Yeah. I was surprised at all the black, though. I mean, I knew she had a lot of black, but it was, yeah, it was a lot. I know. I was trying to finish it, but I did not. You got close. Yeah. I know. Um, the second weekend, I started Night Walk Down by the Blue Flower. Sorry for the glare. But you guys have seen it before, I'm sure. Um. This is a 36 count lilac linen by Wichelt. And there she is. I'm I'm doing like a mix of DMCs and then some over dyes that I had in stash. So it's not exactly the call for, but I'm really happy with it. So she's turning out well. I like it. The 36 count is a struggle as usual. Some of the colors I'm actually stitching with two strands and then other colors that have better coverage with the thread I'm only stitching with one so that feels weird to me but it looks okay so I'm gonna keep doing it I don't know that's interesting yeah I mean I, I wanted to do I usually do like one strand on 36 but then like the darker colors were looking really bad mm -hmm. um, lots of see-through so I I dub, you know I added a thread looks good this one is this is my third weekend start cross, let's see, count, I can't read. Yeah, count twice, stitch once by Primitive Hair. It's a kit, I got it from a stitching shop in Denver. It was a 2018 market release. And so I'm not sure what the count of the linen is and stuff. I think it's a 32 count, but it's with all the call fours. And he's so cute. Mm. that's cool and um the the metallic is is pretty but it's hard to work with it turns out it's a chronic base so i'm not mm. surprised that it's difficult but it looks really cool i think this is the um the linen that julie likes from uh, kansas city girl in colorado world um i forget what it's called but anyway it came with the kit, but I think it's like old Massachusetts or something. I don't know. And then on the fourth weekend, I started. It's called Anna Omen 1873 by Lila Studio. Jesse Marie started this as well, I think during Mania. Um, so that's what it looks like. And I, I kind of wanted to do it in like a a white and blue sort of like you know old pottery looking type but mm -hmm. yeah. I wanted to stitch from stash so I I didn't do that um I had gotten for Christmas some of the blendables from Sulky so I grabbed one of those and then this is a um 40 count spring wind linen by uh, XJU design and I like the variegation. I think it'd be really pretty. Let's see if I can 
show you the the thread. It's nice. It's got like blues and greens and and almost some browns in it. I don't know. I think it'll be pretty because there's lots of leaves and stuff in this uh, in this piece. So I think that'll look nice. And then the last weekend, I started one from uh, Nimu. It's a kit and the picture isn't good. So I'll send Jenny a picture to put in on here. It was a kit. I didn't like the Ada in there. So this is um, 32 count ancient by picture this plus. And it's just a very modest start. I really, this was just a weekend start. So I only worked on it like two days. And one of the days I wasn't really, I was working on the Stiach alone, which I'll show you shortly. So that's all I got done with that. But I like the kit floss. It's like some sort of, I don't know, it's like thicker than DMC, almost like a wool. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty nice. Good colors. So. so those were those. And then Memorial Day, I started one, even though I was only going to start five things during May, but um, I wanted to get this lady done in time for November because it's the 100th anniversary of women getting the vote. So doing this piece up here and I pulled from stash for it. It is for the called for linen, which is just a raw linen, but I'm doing the, um, the it's brighter. Um, all the colors are brighter than in the picture, which I wanted it that way. Yeah, it and looks then, really bright even from here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot brighter than the, but I like it. It's cool. Um, and then I did some metallic um, DMC gold thread in there which oh, I hated nice. doing but it looks cool <laughs> and then the the lettering up here is in a 762 etoile and it's sparkly and of course oh, you nice. can't see it but yeah. it does have a slight sparkle to it so it's gonna be really pretty and I'll probably do one of the buttons too because those are really cool so those are all my starts and now I have to stop. I'm not going to do any more starts for a while. And I'm going to focus on some old whips because I was kind of looking at what I've got. And I'm above 20 now. And I have some from 2016 that had just been kind of sitting there. So I'm going to try and focus on those moving forward. That's my plan. Yeah, so I just did for Mania, I just worked on the one Mira that we started. Um, I didn't quite finish the black, but I'm almost there. I think I was going to actually stop, but I think I'm going to just keep going and at least finish the black before I work on something else. Um, cause it's so close. I'm right there. You are. I think it's so good on that. I think if I just spend a day, I think I can knock it out in a day yeah i just have to do it so <laughs> the black gets tiring after a while that's for sure yeah but i want to um, start on some of the oranges in in her dress and stuff mm, yeah all right what are you gonna do with the skin this time over two two over two oh. yeah okay i'm feeling lazy the over one is tough man and so after that, I'm gonna gonna work on this other one I started just before Mania. Um, so my boyfriend and I play Destiny Two, which is just a like a first person shooter game on PlayStation, and they have like a um, it's kind of like a logo. So I started. There's the logo there. Um, I haven't quite figured out what thread I'm gonna use for the like the yellowish part because it's almost kind of looks like a fire it's like gold and red and i don't know i haven't figured it out yet but i did start so i just got that far but that was just within a couple weeks and then mania happened so um as soon as i finish the black in her then i'll pick that one up again so that's black too isn't it 
Yeah, it's all black. <laughs> yeah, the inside's all black, and then like the the tree and the wool's I some kind of variegated thread. I don't know yet. Nice. Still figuring it out. But. You're doing a bunch of black during a DMC uh, 310 uh, shortage period. <laughs> well, so I did have a purchase because I was looking for 310 and I couldn't find any 310. Like Michael's didn't have any, Joann's, none of those places had any. So I'm like, oh my God. Cause yeah, everything I have is black. Um, so I actually ended up, I got on eBay and I bought two <laughs> of the 12 packs <laughs> cause I couldn't even find cones. I looked for cones no. and I think like the cones cheapest are still cone, gone. it was like 60 bucks for a cone and I am not spending 60 bucks for a cone. So I happen to find these, which they were like a buck a piece. So it's a little more than, you know, what, what you can get them at the store for, but I kind of was freaking out. So I was like, well, this should last me at least, well, it, you know, for the project anyway. So but that was my only purchase so That's good oh man I, I i i was pretty good i had a couple of, of purchases um but before i do that um i guess i'll i'll show my mirrors that i worked on for mirror mania so week one i worked on electra of course and then week two um i actually worked on stargazer so she is here and I will show her to you. So I got a lot more done in the dress. Um, basically her overcoat or whatever that is that goes down mm -hmm. over the dress. That's kind of where I worked in, so. This is on a uh, 28 count dusk linen by Sparkleys. And then the third week I worked on Miss Christmas Eve. So here's where she's at. Oh, I did good right at first and then it washed out. Darn. It's washed out, but it's on a 32 count opal linen, hidden treasures by Fiberlicious. You're getting there, huh? That's yeah, it's a lot. There's a yeah. lot going on. I worked on like the bows mainly. So my friend Alicia, we had traded and I had worked on um, the beads on hers and she worked on some of the cross stitch on mine, which was very helpful. So that's gotten a lot of work probably since last time I showed it with her helping and then me working on it a little bit. And then the last one I worked on last week was Lady of the Flag. I wasn't feeling super patriotic last week, so um, didn't get a lot done, but I'll show you where she's at anyway. Just nice. the bottom of the dress, more down there. So I worked a lot like down over here and I kind of, that line that's running across the bottom, I did that. I realize that I think it's a little bit off center, but I still think it's going to be fine. It'll look good. No one's going to notice. So it's all good. And then I'll just get through these really quick. I don't know if you guys know the phenomenon that is the Stiach along, but this year they're doing a um, Stiach alone since we're all quarantined or whatever and they usually it's a mystery pattern but this time they showed the pattern at the beginning so you don't have the mystery um but that way you're not stressed out about it you know exactly what you're going to be stitching um and there's no there's no teams and there's no chat i mean there are challenges but they're all totally optional um so it's laid back stitch along um siach along so anyway it's a it's a bless this house um thing with like a the face of house md on it and um i think they're gonna give us like other options for the words i know i just stitched one called um called bless this nest so i don't really need another bless this you know household type situation so i'm probably going to change the wording on it but 
Here he is. He's looking creepy. Yeah, he looks like a lion. <laughs> yeah, he does. That's funny. <laughs> um, but he is just on a 32 count vintage smoky uh, linen by Zweigart. Um, so it's printed. You know, this side is printed and the other side is. There he is. And I did kind of a grayscale. Um, you basically, she did it, I think, in blues, but you could do it in any kind of gray, any kind of scale that you wanted, as long as you had five different colors that went from like a very light to a very dark. So mm -hmm. that's how it works. So people are doing all kinds of cool stuff. If you go on the group, some people are doing like neons, like all these different oh. neons. It looks so cool. Um, so mine's kind of boring, but I, I want it to be, I wanted to be able to hang it in my house. So, right. you know. Well, yeah, you want to do it in your style. Right. And then my last one, I'm working on Big Mama. It's 16 pages. I finished page four since we last met. So I'm working on page five right now, but I'll show you the situation that's happening here. Nice. So you can see down there, I started page five. But yeah, it's huge. And if you go to my Instagram, you can see my son holding it up. <laughs> I did design, see that. and it's like yeah. it covers it's him. It's huge, yeah. So I mean, the fabric just is. It keeps <laughs> going. So anyway, it's going to be big and beautiful, and I love it. I'm trying to get a page done a month. So. Oh nice. Yeah. I so think you can do it. June and yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I've been doing that since April, and I've I've had no problem. And even with Mania, I still got my May page done. So. so that's how it was with my paid um once i joined full coverage fanatics yeah. they had like challenges and i just you know tried to meet those challenges and right and i just cruise right along and it, it's so helpful when you set goals like that especially on big pieces like that right. just to you know either a page a month or like 1200 stitches or whatever you know like right. so much progress no, I think I'm going to continue doing this with my big pieces that I have, like the Camelot that Hayde. Um, once this one's done, I'm going to switch over to that and just try and do a page a month. And now it has 44 pages, so it's still going to take me wow. like 10 million years. Um, but at least, you know, 44 divided by 12, and I'm already on page four. So it could be worse, you know. But um, I'm trying not to let myself start another Hayde until I do something with that one because you know you know i've been like i had myself set on starting this hay that really big one and i just with mania mm -hmm. and i was like okay i'm gonna start it right after mania but then now i'm like well i gotta finish the black in that and then i want to finish that piece for my boyfriend and i haven't even thought about a small for the retreat if that's even still happening it's still happen. It's going to happen. We're going to make it happen. Oh, I've started mine, um, but I'm not going to show it because I want it to be a surprise. So yeah, yeah, I'll show it um, after. I'll show. I haven't even thought about it yet, honestly. Yeah. I got so, a good um, airfare for the um, the retreat the other day, you know, because airfare is pretty cheap right now. So I went ahead and bought it, and they're doing like a, I think it's like 24 months after the the flight that you can, you know they'll give you a credit back basically right. to go fly somewhere else. So, and you can cancel up to 10 minutes before the fly leaves. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. I ended up getting tickets to a concert in Vegas for the end of May and that got canceled and I've used my points with it, but I was fully refunded everything. So yeah. Um, I think they're pretty understandable about all that stuff. So. Yeah. I, I'm, I was supposed to be going to Disneyland um, on Monday, but of course I had to cancel all that. So that's sad. Yeah, that sucks. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll just show my, uh, a couple of the things I purchased um, recently. <clears throat> so along with everybody else under the sun, I purchased um, Miss Thang. That was it. Princess so Eliana. Pretty. Yeah, she's yeah, gorgeous. So I feel and like I that piece like bag. goes back to like the original mirrors. I, I know. I, like, I saw her and it was like, oh. I feel like the new ones just don't have enough, you know, like. 
she's oh. everything. And yeah. she's off of a drawing that she did in her, you know, she has an art auction um, Facebook group where you can buy her original artwork. Mm -hmm. um, she does different auction stuff for it. And this was one of the drawings she did, like, I think it was like a year and a half ago, two years ago. So I've seen her in a drawing before. Oh, that's cool. And someone has it in their house. Um, but now there's cross stitch for it, which is awesome. That's cool. Yeah, for sure. And then I had a, um, it's a, a fat half, you know, fat quarter. I think it's a fat quarter, but it's going to fit barely. 32 count Northern Lights by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. It's an opalescent. And I think she'll look really good on that. It's like got blues and greens and purples in it. So I'm going to go for that. It's got all the floss too, but I'm not going to show you that because it's just DMC floss. So, and then, um, this was totally one of those times where I was watching Pam and Steph and they completely enabled me and I went directly to the Drawn Thread website and purchased this because <laughs> I thought it was so pretty. You had no self-control. I had no self-control. It says, <laughs> those who wish to sing always find a song. That's and it cool, just then. spoke to me and I love the house and I love all the pretty bright colors but look drawn thread it comes in a whole kit look at this and it was cheap i mean for a kit and i went directly to drawn thread because i tried to find this elsewhere and it was like hella expensive like to kit it up all separately and to buy the mm -hmm. chart and they had the kit you know with like the proper amount of floss in it and stuff and it was like not bad at all That's and cool. they ship like that i mean it was amazing so bravo drawn thread just order directly from them it was perfect so um uh, that's basically it i got a couple of things from one two three stitch just because you know stuff can't travel alone and whatnot um i saw this on somebody's instagram i think it's called morning walk and i just thought it was so mm -hmm. cute and i liked like mm -hmm. the pink in it i don't know it's just really pretty and i love the little doggies i want to change the color of one of them to look like my dog i was gonna say you should do one to look like sam so I got that. And then um, this is another one I saw somebody stitching on Instagram, I think. I don't know. It's just cute with the moon and the owl and the, I like the berry bowl and I like the borders all crazy. Yeah, that's cool. And look, there's a squirrel on a something with a <laughs> pumpkin. I don't know. It's everything about it is amazing. So, and look at the, look at the graveyard. Look. Oh my God. <laughs> so I did that. And um I got some lakeside linens, which is hard to find right now. Meadow Rue, I got that for um, the one with the me and the dogs and me. That's where I'll be something. It's by, um, I think, Scarlet House. Um, Amy Loves Toes just stitched it like a couple months ago, a few months ago. <clears throat> and I think that's pretty much it. I got some Mill Hills, nothing exciting. You can't see these at all, sorry. A little pink dragonfly. I got a little elf with dangly feet mm -hmm. because Calico has been doing dangly feet ones lately and I don't have any and I was getting jealous, so. I know, I, I love like, that flamingo. <laughs> I have the holiday one and now I got that little elf and then um, this one that says, come stitch for a spell. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. Anyway, that's it. And that was over like the last month, month and a half, you know. Whatever. Well, I actually have a, had a finish and an FFO. I think it took me one day, like nice. a couple hours. It's just a little like, well, here's here's a picture. So again, this is from Destiny, um, but I just turned that into a fridge magnet, and uh, it's at my boyfriend's house. So, um, but it's like that big. I think it took like two hours. Super quick. It was on perforated paper? Yep, perforated cool. paper. So. Did you back it with like um, felt? Um, felt, yeah. Yeah, I oh. stuck the magnet on there and then put the felt on top of it and then glued it. So Smart. that way you can't see the magnet. I never thought to do that before. That's cool. Yeah, so. Nice. As long as the glue holds, 
I mean, yeah. but something like that, you're not really taking on and off a bunch anyway. So no. uh, it, it'll be fine. I have those on my fridge too. And I'm like, those are not the ones you're using. Those need to be left alone. They are decorative. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. I know. I have a couple of those too. Yeah. That, you know, I, I don't know. For some reason, I like to turn the Mill Hills into magnets. I don't know why, but. They come with magnets. It's I like, mean, they're perfect for magnets. Yeah. I mean, you're not really going to hang them up on your wall. They're so tiny, you know. Yeah, I mean, um, like the Christmas ones I'll put on my tree. But like the ones that are right. on Christmas, it's like, oh so fridge yeah fridges are huge perfect yeah yeah i did the ice cream one like christine did um and it's a magnet for the fridge so i have the i love coffee one but i never ffo'd it it's sitting in my bag it finishes yeah. so nice but i turned that one into a, i think an ornament oh nice because you can love coffee at christmas time too well sure <laughs> <laughs> okay. anyway well, cool. Well, my light's huh? fading, and uh, I think we did pretty good there. Yeah. How far sure. are we at? I don't know because this <laughs> Zoom does not tell me. So that is weird. I um, never noticed that before. But cool. Well, cool. Well, thanks everyone for joining us, and uh, good to see you guys try to try to do more of a rotation so i have more to show for next yep. time um but yeah we'll try to make it within the month i guess make keep it more regular yep yep no going six months again seven months so i know that was well don't move i know that was part of it <laughs> that was your fault <laughs> and christmas and you know everybody slacks well, yeah. christmas with these so that's no it's true i'm just kidding well, thanks for All watching, right. guys. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye.